Hi, Mike from runfizz.com. Today I want to talk to you about core strength in the context of running. It's very easy to believe that if you have a ripped six pack of abs, that that's equivalent to having a strong core. That's not necessarily true. When it comes to running, what we need is for our muscles to be able to be strong enough to be stable, but yet allow for proper and fluid movement of our extremities. And so the exercises we're going to do today are going to target that uh, strategy of being strong and stable, but yet allow for movement. Now again, that's not necessarily going to equate to uh, a ripped six pack, but I want to move away from that thinking and move more towards the thinking of how do we get our muscles strong enough to do the activity we want to do? Not just how do we isolate certain muscles and make them look pretty. So the exercises we're going to do today are going to force you to work hard, but also make your muscles work together to allow for the movements that are authentic to running. Now please ensure that you are at a fitness level that's appropriate for attempting these exercises today. If you have any suspicion that you may not, then please speak with your doctor or another licensed medical practitioner to ensure that these are appropriate for you. If you have any pain at all, please stop immediately and talk to your doctor about whether or not these kinds of activities are appropriate for you. First exercise we're going to do is we're going to start out in a plank position. Now I like to be up on extended hands just because it allows for more freedom of movement, especially for the exercise we're going to do today. So you start in a push-up or plank position and extended hands, and you start by raising one leg up and swinging it forward and then kicking it back up and going back and forth in that motion. Now with this one, it may seem counterintuitive, but I do actually want your hips to drop slightly below neutral. And again, why that's important is because your hips are not going to just stay in a neutral position while you're running. They're going to go back and forth. You're going to have some anterior and posterior tilting of your hips and your pelvis. And we need to know that our core muscles can account for that and be strong with that. So you're going to go forward and backward with your leg. And then you're also going to rotate your leg across the front of you and up and behind you. Doing 20 to 30 of each of these on each leg will be a great start for your routine today. The second exercise you're going to do, you're going to get into a side plank position and with this one it's okay to be on an elbow and I think that's more comfortable for most people. So once you have found a neutral straight position, what you're going to do then is you're going to simply kick one leg forward and backward. So again, this is training your body to be stable while your extremity is moving. Very authentic to running. And lastly, we're going to do a series of activities that incorporate the vertical loading needed for running. Again, when it comes to running, your core has to be strong enough to account for the force of your body hitting the earth and the force of the earth pushing back up on your body. There's quite a vertical load that needs to take place there or your body needs to be able to, to take care of. So what we're going to do is we're going to get into a lunge position holding a, an object that weighs 5 to 10, perhaps 15 pounds and you're going to hold it off to the side. And from there you're going to just simply squat up and down 10 to 15 times, hold the object to the other side up and down 10 to 15 times and then you're going to switch your legs and do the same thing the other way. Again that last exercise is very important for developing the ability to account for the vertical loads to be able to absorb and push them off effectively. If you can do that well that's going to make you a much more efficient runner. So again those are three exercises that are a little bit at a higher level than some of the exercises in the basic core strengthening video that many of you have seen. So give those a try, let me know how they go, have fun.